Hello, and thank you for joining me. I had such a fun day today. My husband and I had our appointment to get our income taxes done this morning, which we did. Then, as we were leaving, he said, well, it's almost 11 o'clock. What do you think, what would you like to do? And I said, well, I don't know. And I molded over and I said, well, almost 11 o'clock. Why don't we go to our... Uh, another antique mall on the other side of uh, Jacksonville that I really like. In fact, we had a rather large booth in there for many years and when I sold antiques, I said, let's go there and uh, they have a lovely uh, lunch uh, place in there and let's see. Now the last um, one or two times, uh, I only came out with uh, maybe one or two items and I said, well, let's look. It's a beautiful day out and we did. Well, 14 items later. I don't know where to begin, so I'm just going to grab and plunge. I purchased these. Ugh. Two bookends. These are uh, dogwood, uh, a pair of dogwood bookends from 1965. They're marked on the back. They're in lovely condition. I'll put a little glue under there. And I thought, wouldn't these, wouldn't these look just lovely on two sides of a journal? And I thought, well, I can always use them, but I could always share them too. So I thought I would, uh, I thought I would put these uh, on to share. And, uh, of course, uh, they're rather heavy, so you know what the shipping is going to be like, but uh, I think you might consider how pretty they'd be. If not, well, I imagine I can live with them. So, that was the first goodie. The second goodie was another antique object. A, an antique paint tin, a heavyweight metal from the, uh, probably the 1890s. The places for the paint and the brushes and so forth. And the lovely, it's in lovely condition uh, it certainly could be in worse condition than it is, but this is typical of something that's well over a hundred years old. And look at the beautiful tag inside. J. Barnard and Son, Manners, London. Beautiful brass uh, identification with a lovely symbol inlaid into the cover. And, as found, of course, I did uh, clean off a little dust, but the thing that tickled uh, me particularly from my uh, antique selling days was that uh, it still closes, and this works and closes up. So, I thought somebody might enjoy having this to uh, add to their uh, arty memorabilia and uh, I will be uh, sharing this also. Then, boy I was on a uh, I was on a lucky streak with uh, oldies today. Some stereoscope uh, cards from 18, uh, 1899 um, 1900 and I thought, well, these are certainly uh, out, of, uh, out of copyright by now. And aren't they just lovely the way things were made and lettered and uh, labeled? A lady and children in a daisy field. And the clothes are absolutely right for the uh, for the era. Hmm. 
the a bird's eye view of Philadelphia and uh, Girard College. The City of Brotherly Love. These. This one. The Family. In the Daisy Field. My, what a delightful, what a delightful Washington, D.C. Again, Chateau in the Exposition of 1900 in Paris, France. And the Eiffel Tower, for those of you who love things, all things French. And a family. Salutation, copyright 1902. And the gentleman and the lady at home. She, at a, I believe, she's at a desk. So, I of course had to have those. Because they are just truly lovely. And then, well, I cannot believe ugh, my luck on this one. <sighs> Kane Casual Lifestyle Collection, 54 by 72 inch oblong vinyl tablecloth. Well, if I'm telling you, if my husband didn't have to pick me up off the floor, it would have been a complete miracle. Vinyl tablecloth for uh, for spraying and coffee dyeing and general loveliness and large enough that I can have all that I might possibly want and uh, and so can you. I had to whiff that. It smells pretty good, actually. Now, let's see if I can... There it is. There's the lace pattern around the edges. Never been used, never been opened. And the, uh, the pattern in... Let me just pull this back a little, over a little bit. The pattern in the uh, in the tablecloth quite lovely so i certainly will be happy to share this and i absolutely cannot wait to get this into my uh, into my at least my spray box so where to put this i think i'll file it on the floor there it goes found these two packages of uh, envelopes for embellishing. One for me and one to share. And of course I have not been through these so let's look at them together. Three cent stamps. Pennsylvania State Philatelic Society, goodness, 1940 smudge, nineteen thirty nine, and a blue typewriter ribbon. No, oh, well, this was 1968. Wow. Now, this is not, these are not supposed to have any, anything in them, but look at this. Let's see. Ah, the Stamp Society. Next meeting, Thursday the 20th at 8 p.m. I 
leave that there. Bank of America, 1940. Bank of America. A private, a personal envelope. Nineteen forty nine. Pretty handwriting, California, nineteen forty five. Bank of America, nineteen sixty four. And such pretty stamps. Oh my, look at this one. The Garfield Perry Stamp Club, the Statler Hilton Hotel, Cleveland, Ohio. My, my, my. Well, boy, didn't I get some doings from the Bank of America. Personal. Mm -hmm -hmm. 1948. It's the only way you keep anyone else from opening your mail. And that's one grouping. And the other one. Nineteen forty. Pretty, pretty stamp. Three cent stamps. Don't I remember those? Hmm. This one seems to be, oh, 1952. From Mineola, New York. 1952. Bank of America, again. Oh boy, I seem, we seem to have struck this Bank of America today. Canoga Park, California, 1952. And on it goes. So, I shall certainly enjoy embellishing these. Airplane, six cent stamp, 1941. Hmm. Tacoma, Washington. Airmail. Well, those were fun. And there were many, many more packets. Then, I luckily found these beautiful antique book plates of flowers. Lily of the Valley. Beautiful satiny paper. So you know that it's probably a uh, turn of the century, early 1900s, and these would be so lovely. Belladonna, nettle, rosemary, great mullion, digitalis, valerian, parsley, and obviously in a sewn, in a sewn book. So, I will certainly be sharing those. Let's go next to, ta-ta, I have been finding lace and loving it, and usually on sale too. And this person used a nice a nice pin to put that motif on the card and the, it's discoloring beautifully. Isn't it incredible that we're happy to see discoloring? Love it. 
and four of these puppies. And for these delicious pins. Wow, I'm loving those pins. But, aren't these so pretty? Oh, journal's calling. And these, uh, these bags were, uh, were quite on sale too, which was uh, very nice. And I like the fact that these are um, double-sided. Wouldn't these make gorgeous belly bands and plenty of it. And this last one, well, look at these. Absolutely lovely, delicate. Flowers. I would have been happy, because I'm a lace lover, I would have been happy right there if that's what I came out with and nothing else. Goodness. All right. I found this on the way out. First of all, I love The Secret Garden. I used to read it to my, um, my class in uh, school all the time. And the thing that stopped me here was this. The condition of the... Uh, of the cover, which is not terribly bad, a little bit worn to be expected, but this uh, this cover is absolutely delightful. Wow, book do just beautifully using the uh, the covers, the end papers. Uh, a little problem right here. But not a uh, not a terrible one, and uh, this book is 1984. The condition is uh, not the worst. Let me see. Here's a color plate, and I believe I went past some other ones. Did I? Yes, I did. Okay. And note the gold, gold finish on the uh, edges of the pages. So, I certainly could not resist this, and it was on sale. Now, what else? Oh, yes. I found this. It was looking at me and saying, well, for those folks of us that love, uh, that love Iris, isn't this just the cat's whiskers? And the papers, now this is not old, but gold, gilt, edges, and just a notebook. But, and of course it has a, uh, it has a ribbon bookmark, but couldn't this just be, uh, couldn't this just be used in different ways for uh, journal making? So I thought I would have that. And then I purchased myself uh, this book in the same place that uh, uh, I've, I've got my last uh, treat at my birthday. This is in just lovely, lovely condition. This leather is beautiful. The edge binding, even on the raised bits on here, is uh, gilt stamping. Inside papers, lovely. And then I opened it up, and this is 1920. The inscription. And then, well, this pushed it over, right over. 
Now, why would anyone put that P there? Mm, let's see. Thank heavens for white erasers. They can remove a multitude of sins. Deliciously aged paper and it's French. Well, I haven't been able to find anything in French for ever. And now the sky's the limit. So this was my present to Carol. And what a wise way for the uh, booth owner to uh, keep things in good condition. So, my present to me for being a good girl. However, my husband is really learning to have an eye for goodies. Here uh, is uh, a pile of children's books. Let me go out a little bit. Let me not destroy my setup here. A pile of children's books. Ten books. And I've never bought like this before. But I couldn't resist because of these two. Let me get show you, share these with you. This pile is uh, Honey Bunch, a series in not terribly bad condition. Nice old from 1930. Nice old and it has the right odor. So that's one and three friends. Worn. Yes, it is. Three friends. Nineteen forty eight Scott Forsman. School book. Colored, lovely colored illustrations for the stories. Maybe um, second grade. Gritley's Children, by the author of Heidi. Certainly worn. But, illustration so of the time. I don't see a date on here, but lovely old book and I did love Heidi goodness I think all of us did that read this I really had no idea that she'd written so many books so Gritley's uh, children author of um, Heidi and Cornelie and so I'm going to do a grouping of this of these three and then the poor babies. I'm having to th having a think as to whether or not um, I'm going to hold on to them. Um, these uh, these need some loving. Pages coming out, not such wonderful condition. Uh, this one is. Um, in Her Room by Ruth Arthur. Older Girls. Some uh, black and white illustrations. That is going to be on that stack. Now I'm having to think whether or not these are just going to have to uh, go to their heavenly reward or whether someone might be interested in having them. Here is uh, an old Heidi from 1970. Honey Bunch and Norman. Not so 
good condition on the cover, <coughs> but full page, some full page black and white illustrations, and someone tucked, looks like a graduation from high school picture in here that has transferred through the years with a typical uh, statement on the back. And I just love it when I find treasures like this tucked into a book. Francie Pepper. This is the, pe the Peppers. The Pepper books by uh, Margaret Sidney. <coughs> Goodness. 1937. Not such a wonderment and a joy, however. First reader, Baker and Thorndike. Mm -hmm. 1927, not in such wonderful condition in the front. The back is not so bad. Some of the illustrations are absolutely adorable. Look at the elephants. They're better at the back of the book than the front. The brave blackbird is still there. And I don't know what it was about those illustrations that usually included a feather in the hat. So... This is the pile I have to think about whether or not I'm going to even uh, <coughs> bother with them. If you are interested, please let me know. These two were the reason that I brought the, uh, the group. Little Women, modern abridged version. The cover is in fairly nice condition. But, oh, my, I thought, look at that cover and look how that could be embellished and used. And then I said, let's see what's inside. And, well, look at those end papers. Aren't they a delight? Different end papers, front and back. There are the professor and those are Joe's boys. So... Modern Classics, Whitman Publishing Company, 1965, and full double spread color illustrations. A little bit loosey goose here. Needs some work on the. Uh, Needs some work. I'm not going to pull this down because it might break off. Full page illustration. There's Lori, probably watching one of their plays. Whoops. Okay. More illustrations. Now here's uh, not quite so colorful. There's Joe and Lori. So we have a combination of the not so colorful with the full color illustrations here and there and another double spread well that absolutely stopped me so I couldn't resist the stack because of this uh oh oh yes Fascinating how they're illustrating this. It's, well, so this one and Hitty. Well, not only Hitty, her first hundred years by Rachel Field, such a famous book, and the original dust cover. Still there, the book was a dollar. Here is Hitty in lovely, lovely condition. Book plate. An illustration, 1941. And Hitty was a China head doll. 
she was uh, she had many the uh, 1929 yes um, the state of Maine and Abby Evans it's dedic it's dedication and the story starts here with Hitty there are many black and white the original black and white illustrations of uh, this China doll and her adventures. The book itself is in pretty nice condition for its age. And I cannot believe that any part of that uh, dust cover is still there. Oh my. I was dressed as a bride. Well, as I said, these two kind of pulled me towards the stack. And as you can see, my husband and I had such had such great fun today. Looking looking about finding many delicious things. If you have enjoyed this vlog, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I would appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I will be uh, coming back to see you soon, and uh, keep an eye on my Etsy, please. I think you will uh, you will enjoy these things as much as I do. I hope. Bye now.